Hello everyone, it is Tatum here. Welcome or welcome back to Bible Readings with Tatum, my podcast where we read and study scripture together. In this episode, we are going to be reading Psalms 3 and 4. So let's pray before we get started. Dear Heavenly Father, I just ask um, that as we spend time in your word today that you please show us something new that we have not yet seen about you. Please open our hearts to your message, Lord, and please just Help us to see your glory and your goodness through the scriptures, Lord. Thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Before we get started, I do want to apologize for any background noise. Um, I am recording from a different location today in which um, it's a little bit noisier. I apologize if you can hear that. I'm not exactly sure if you can even hear it. Let's get started. Psalm 3. A Psalm of David, when he fled from his son, Absalom. Lord, how many are my foes? How many rise up against me? Many are saying of me, God will not deliver him. But you, Lord, are a shield around me. My glory, the one who lifts my head high. I call out to the Lord, and he answers me from his holy mountain. I lie down and sleep. I wake again because the Lord sustains me. I will not fear, though tens of thousands assail me on every side. Arise, Lord, deliver me, my God. Strike all my enemies on the jaw. Break the teeth of the wicked. From the Lord comes deliverance. May your blessing be on your people. Psalm 4. For the director of music, with stringed instruments. A Psalm of David. Answer me when I call to you, my righteous God. Give me relief from my distress. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long will you people turn my glory into shame? How long will you love delusions and seek false gods? Know that the Lord has set apart his faithful servant for himself. The Lord hears when I call to him. Tremble and do not sin. When you are on your beds, search your hearts and be silent. Offer the sacrifices of the righteous and trust in the Lord. Many, Lord, are asking, who will bring us prosperity? Let the light of your face shine on us. Fill my heart with joy when their grain and new wine abound. In peace, I will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. As we get into the studying portion of today, um, I just want to kind of tell you, in case you're new here, um, I get my commentary from a couple different sources, including study Bibles, the Filament app, the Bible Recap, and more. So as I write these notes, some of them um, are just things that I notice myself as I read, and then others are from commentary apps like that. So let's get into studying. So Psalm 3, 4, and 5 were written by David after he was betrayed by his son. We did not read Psalm 5 today, but we will probably in the next episode just because it is a lengthier psalm. I wanted to leave it um, out of this episode, even though it does tie in with these ones. So just keep that in mind. I will probably say that again when we go and study Psalm 5. Um, But David is coming from a very heartbroken place when he wrote these. One of the things that I think is really cool to notice in Psalm 3, verse 3, says, But you, Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts my head high. And that is just a really nice reminder to turn your eyes to the Lord at all times. David is coming from a really broken, a really heart broken place, and he is still turning his eyes to the Lord. And then a similar note in verse 5, it says, I lie down and sleep. I wake again because the Lord sustains me. And then I said, in trials, we can rest comfortably in God's arms because we know that he sustains us. And then for my last note on Psalm 3 is from verse 7. Arise, Lord, deliver me, my God. And then I just wrote that we should not seek revenge, but wait for the Lord. And I have wrote this multiple times in my Bible. I'm actually a little bit further along in the Psalms, and I wrote this same note today without even realizing it. 
Um, but human revenge means nothing, ultimately. It's, it's God's justice that is what's important. And we just need to wait for God to move. Now, Psalm 4 is a prayer for rescue, but was also written after David was betrayed by his son. In verse 1, it says, Answer me when I call to you, my righteous God. Give me relief from my distress. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. And that's just a really good reminder that God does give relief from anxiety, from stress. He does hear you. It may not seem like it at some times, and I'm sure that David was probably thinking that same exact thing when he wrote this, but God does hear you, and he does give you relief. From verse 4, it says, Tremble and do not sin. When you are on your beds, search your hearts and be silent. And I wrote that angry feelings are not sinful, but letting anger control you can be sinful. And I think that's really important. It, your feelings are not sins, but acting on those feelings can be the sin. Same with temptations. Having temptations is not a sin. You are going to be tempted. Acting on those temptations is the sin. Then from verse 8, I have the rest of my notes. And it says, In peace I will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. And that's just a really good reminder that he does, in fact, give peace. And in this, um, peace is shalom uh, or wholeness. So another way you could write that is he gives wholeness. And then from the line, make me dwell in safety, it's just a really good reminder that he is the mighty protector and he will always protect his people. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the time that we were able to spend in your word today learning about you, Lord. I hope that my friend on the other side of the screen was able to learn something about you as we spent just some minutes in your word and learning about you, Lord. Please let something dwell on their heart, Lord. Thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you guys so much for listening to the third episode of Bible Readings with Tatum. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think down below. And if you have any other notes about these chapters that we read today, I would love to hear them and possibly add them into my Bible. I'm always adding new notes. So please do let me know what you think in the comments. And I hope you can join me next time. Bye.